Well, folks, it's another night of waiting and watching. At this hour, the presidential race is still undecided. As Joe Biden gets closer to 270, the president is threatening legal action. Tonight, state by state, let's look at where things stand. We're going to the big board, folks, and let's start down in Georgia. Right now, the president on top there with close to 100% of the returns, but we know there's still uh, data coming in from around Metro Atlanta. Jump to North Carolina, the president on top there. But if you look out here out west, the Associated Press called Arizona for Biden uh, with 51% of the vote. But at this point, a lot of the other major networks, Dejanique, have not called that. If you look at the electoral count, factoring in Arizona, Biden would have 264. Without it, he'd have 253. So that is certainly uh, an area that we know the president is watching tonight. We know uh, from listening to some of his campaigners uh, and folks who are representing the GOP that they have a lot of hope that he could catch up there in Arizona. I guess the biggest question right now, Jordan, is how, how much longer can this last? And it all depends on which states decide this. Yeah. It, is, it is possible, right, if Biden ends up winning Arizona and Nevada, holding the lead in Michigan, that he could get to 270. If we have to wait for Pennsylvania and the lawsuits that, that could play out there, it could be quite a bit longer, so we shall see. Okay, if you listen closely, you can hear them saying stop the vote. Earlier today, demonstrators gathered outside a ballot processing center in Detroit to demand that election workers stop counting those votes. And they're not the only ones. Folks in places like New York City, Philadelphia, Dallas, and even Boston hit the streets today uh, calling for the votes to either be counted or to not be counted. So it was a bit of a counter protest happening. Handfuls of states like Georgia and Nevada continue counting ballots. Now, after a long night of counting, it's clear that we're winning enough states to reach 270 electoral votes needed to win the presidency. Joe Biden spoke this afternoon in Delaware, saying he's confident his campaign is on track to win the White House. Meanwhile, the president has filed a lawsuit to stop the counting in Michigan. That's a state the AP already called for Biden. The president hasn't spoken since his 2 a.m. appearance at the White House. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. Now, neither one able to claim they secured 270 electoral votes right now. But there was a clear winner in Texas, and that was President Trump. 